What would you do if a complete stranger sent you a message like this? Invitation to Arctic Circle Raceway. Hello, mother Would you like to join us at the northernest racetrack in the world? We can guarantee you a unique experience at a low-key track day event. There will be motorcycles, beers, and ugly girls. Hit me up if it sounds interesting. Well, I said yes. Armed only with my passport, my leathers, and my cameras, I boarded a flight from Gatwick to a track just outside the Arctic Circle. I mean, how crazy could these people actually be? Right, I am at the first airport, I'm at Trondheim. Apparently I look Norwegian because everyone just keeps talking to me in Norwegian and I don't have a clue what they're saying. I'm getting on this next flight now to be, I don't even know who's picking me up. They said it could be a boy or an ugly girl. I'm happy with either. And I can confirm in Norway, I'm yet to see an ugly girl. Norway is sick. Like Scotland. Hi, I'm I am in the middle of nowhere, and no one speaks English. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy because he's smiling. Hello. Welcome, Hello. my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. And uh, have you ever ridden a snowmobile? Never. Okay. Oh. Then you have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a problem. I just don't even know what to <laughs> say. I've just been on the track. We've been with a drift car. Someone just lent me their M1000. I got on the M1000. We're riding around with 
like six of us, I think it was four of us, then six of us behind a drift car. There's a drift car going from side to side. It's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever done in my life. Absolutely amazing. So far, I've ridden a snowmobile, I've driven a Scania truck with no license. <laughs> I've come here, blown some dynamite up, got on a track on an MT10, got round the track for two laps, then ended up on an M1000. I was on the M1000 behind a drift car and then I just did a burnout and got handed a beer. I don't know what's going on. This is the room I've been given for the night. See how the curtains are taped up because it doesn't really get dark here. Uh, this is my bed. I don't even know what to say. Who knows what's coming next? But they said they've got plenty more plans. So uh, if nothing else, today alone has just been the best day ever. Day one, complete. Just completed the beer section of the video. We've been uh, exchanging stories. And it's fair to say this lot are completely mental. I don't know how they get away with what they do, but I'm glad they do. I'm glad that stuff like this is still allowed to happen in the world. These are all the bikes. Just mint, it's all like left open and just no one really cares. So I'm walking down now to race control because that's where I'm staying tonight. It's my bed. Who knows what they've got planned for me tomorrow. They said they've got lots more planned and they said they're not telling me just to keep it all a surprise. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Look how ridiculous this is. I'm in the hospital. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Normally when I'm in these things, it's because I just had a massive crash. <laughs> Stretcher. Just remembering what it was like. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to do this anymore. Oh. <laughs> Takes me back to the good old days. <laughs> right, bedtime. Oh, someone's got me in a main bed. Day two, I've just woke up. Uh, my head's a bit sore. We had a few beers down the um, pit lane last night. I just sort of woke up this morning wondering if yesterday was even real. I don't know what happened. Annoyingly, today I've just looked out the window and it's absolutely tipping it down. Yeah, who knows what today will bring. They keep not telling me stuff on purpose, which I quite enjoy because I've no idea what's coming up. And the other thing they keep doing is every time the rats do something is they all just switch to Norwegian because they know I can't understand. And then, so that's my cue point that I know something dangerous is coming. See what they've got in store for me. They were telling me about this last night, I've just found the bike. Uh, this was done at about four o'clock in the morning after they'd been to a festival all day. <laughs> Look at the state of it. <laughs> it's been a bit of an annoying day today. It nearly dried up tonight, um, but it's just been like drizzling all day and now it's started drizzling again. So we're not managing to get out on track. I could go ride, they've got wet tires, but I don't race anymore, I don't need to ride in the rain, I've proved that I can ride in the rain, so uh, I don't take much enjoyment out of it. Now we've just moved all the bikes out of the way, shutting all the garage doors, they've got a massive heater, putting that in here for the beer section of the day, so we're going to drink beer. We are meant to be going scuba diving later, I'm not sure how scuba diving works when you're drunk, if that's even a thing, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing, but I just ask no questions now, I just get on with whatever they tell me to do. I haven't been riding, but there's plenty of rookie riders been riding here. I think what we're going down to do is watch the uh, rookie riders do their first ever start on the grid. So obviously I brought the camera because you just don't know how keen some of them are going to be. Activities are done for the day. It's half six or seven at night, and we're just getting ready to go scuba diving. I have actually been scuba diving before in the Sea Life Centre 
on the Not Kill pre-event with Dive for Sharks, but that was a long time ago, and I've no idea what I'm doing. This apparently is in some cave, and it's renowned because two people died in this cave because they went down and they couldn't get back out. I don't think we're going down as far as they are, but that's the plan for this evening. And then the food after, I thought they were joking, was roadkill, but apparently it is actually roadkill and they won't tell us what it is. So the only positive with that is I don't eat fish and I'm pretty sure the salmon aren't on the road. So I'll wait and see. <laughs> Yeah. Get excited, Frank. I think you're about to get kidnapped and killed. <laughs> I've thought that a few we times. Are, we are the roadkill. <laughs> Where are we going? To die. To die, yeah, oh, thanks. We're going cave diving. <laughs> and just for the record, two people have died doing this, haven't they? Yes, they have. Yeah, you sent yeah. me the BBC article, thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's very yeah. kind of you. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. This, this can be uh, deadly. Most likely it is. Because we all lied on the forum and said we were fit to die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which of you are being in the first ones? <laughs> you? Yeah. And we, we take three at the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we start charging for yeah. some suits for you. I'll go first, that means there's more oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can go at the end. <laughs> Well, you have to come up, so we have to change it for you. We have to take the next one here, because that's the last suit you have. Okay. Put you under again. Yes. <laughs> I feel like a failure, but as long as you I thought if I can't breathe at the top, I don't want to go down. Really? Hold for the hands. Yeah. <laughs> Was it better? Yeah, I need some gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you shake so cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, what are you doing? So I've never been so cold in my life. <laughs> you come back next year, yeah? <laughs> That's the cave dive finished. <laughs> For me, really. we've decided cave diving isn't for us. Well, it's not for me anyway, is it for you? No. No. We did, we basically jumped into a pond and got to the bottom <laughs> and that was enough for me. That cave goes, I think it went down to 20, 30 meters for, was it 500 meters? Uh, no, I think it's 100 meters, 200 meters. Straight. 200 meters. And then once you go past that, you get into a bit where you can breathe for 500 meters but then by the end of it you're one and a half kilometers into the cave <laughs> and the only way out is the way you came because they did go straight and that's where the guys got stuck and unfortunately didn't get back out so no one goes that way anymore and yeah it was at that point um decided i'm just a land mammal and i'll stay on the dry land and now we're gonna go eat some roadkill and drink beers Of course, we need help from the woman. <laughs>
Just remember, I've got no boxer shorts on. <laughs> We've uh, scuba dived. We explored the hospital, but I'm ready for my bed. I've hardly slept. Yesterday we woke up at four o'clock in the morning. I didn't go to bed till, I don't know what time it was, two o'clock. And then it's another two o'clock tonight, so I'm looking forward to my bed, but it's been an epic day and we're making the most of being in Norway. It's Wednesday and it's chucking it down. It's forecast seven centimetres of rain, I think, today. So I don't think we're gonna be on track. Doesn't really leave a lot else to do. We were meant to go on a rib in some water somewhere, but they said it's too windy to do that and they might break the boat. So we're not doing that either. <laughs> yes. And uh, then this will be his. Thank you. I think. I got one. Safety first. Yeah. Always. You want to borrow the suit as well? Wait, he's got this way. Let's try to hide. Doing? Well, my feet are wet because I've had it to run in a puddle. And now I can't hear. <laughs> what? Well, we might go out of trouble for the last thing, but we might be back in trouble again. <laughs> They're getting good at trying to trick me. I'm now at the top of a ski slope. I've only ever seen Eddie the Eagle on TV doing this. And uh, we tried telling him I was getting on, which I believe for a split second, but having come up here, the camera doesn't do this justice at all, but it is mad. What an amazing sport. You have to run oh, down and get the skis. Oh, cool, I'll go now. Awesome. This evening's entertainment is reverse racing. I don't know whose idea. Was it your idea, Tron? No, my dad's. You took Frank's idea. Is everyone ready? Yes. The object of the game is you've got to drive that polo that they've bought in reverse, two laps. And the first lap, uh, the guy in the passenger seat does the throttle, the guy in the steering wheel does the steering wheel. And then at the end of the first lap, you have to swap drivers, but you've got to stay inside the car. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, and we've all started drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling relaxed after two points. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Matt. <laughs> we've just been deciding our tactics. The tactic is we're just going to nail it. <laughs> we've got our seat belts on and the headrest is fully adjusted for whiplash. Uh, we've got a slight heat issue at the minute. The cars are... <laughs> 130 degrees so we're just waiting for it to cool down oh we've got more water and uh let's go
The back window's uh, gone. Fucking Tonic! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done, everyone. Uh, no. most... Can you see the window? Yeah, yeah now we're. Close, oh, yeah. close the door, we're getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what back window? Oh, where's the back window? It's on his head. <laughs> I'm so happy I've introduced Jerry Cinnamon to Norway. Thursday. I just woke up. I honestly don't know how many day, more days of this I can take. It's my last full day here. Tomorrow I fly home first thing in the morning. So, you know, normally you wake up from a hangover and you think, oh, I forgot what I did yesterday. I just woke up and forgot that I was in a car crash. It's not very often that happens on a Wednesday. Yesterday we did a jump in a car which probably might not have made a lot of sense from the inside. So we're going back to recreate the jump. <laughs> John and Rene have got helmets on this time and there's now no back window in the car. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Plan is to jump uh, down to the chair. That's a long way. Let's give it a go. I like, I like how he's clearing that like he's going to make any difference <laughs> when you hit it at 50 mile an hour. <laughs> right, well, good luck. Thank you. I can see why the window smashed now. That was You've got a puncture. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Full commitment. <laughs> we need some spare parts. <laughs> they make a video from. I'm on the yellow. How to change a wheel, Norwegian style. <laughs> Do it for the vlog. That was <laughs> my back's gone. <laughs> I've got no, I've got nothing left. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> save me! I've had enough. <laughs> so, uh, how do you like it in Norway? Yeah, uh, Norway. <laughs> I was promised motorbikes, beers, and girls. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I've learned a new word. Yeah. Steve Nippler. Steve <laughs> <laughs> Nipples. Steve yeah. Nipples. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we hope you enjoy the rest of, of the vacation. Catch you next week. <laughs>